Hello there. What is going on, everybody? Today, we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at the Starbuck Viper Mark II from Battlestar Galactica Starship Battles by Ares Games. This is going to be a lot like your regular Viper Mark II, but this is going to be Starbucks Viper, and that's going to be identified by a couple of different things in here, and we're going to take a look at it. It's not just the box art featuring Kara Thrace, a.k.a. Starbuck, uh, you've got some different box art on here, and you're going to have her cards that come in this box, as well as the ship itself, if we look closer, I believe is actually a, a different Viper than uh, any of the Vipers that you've seen before, which is actually a really cool thing, so we'll we'll do that. Now, a big thanks to Ares Games for sending this out to me. We've got a lot more Battlestar Galactica to look at, so if you guys are interested in seeing more, be sure to click that subscribe button. Uh, also, there's still another uh, giveaway going on right now for a $25 Amazon gift card, so if you're interested in winning that, you just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment. It's as simple as that. All right, so we slide, like most of these expansions, they just slide the sleeve right off and we have access to everything else inside the box. Uh, we can then pull out the inner section and it's just a little bit of tape on the sides and we're gonna take this tape off and gain access to the rest of the interior. And this actually, you wanna do this with some care because then you have a really great uh, re-sealable uh, storage mechanism so you can uh, have access to all of your cards and all of your uh, ship interior and you can just store it back in here no problem uh, i'm gonna be trying to be very careful with this one there we go came out without too much problem and of course we've got our flight pegs right there and then this can go right back in the box and if uh, when we're done we can put everything back in here and it'll fit real nice uh I do love these boxes by the way just really great for resealing so that much is super cool. All right, let's take a look at this miniature. All right, here is Starbucks Viper, and this thing is just gorgeous. So much attention to detail here. Uh, one of the things I love about this is you can actually read, it's a, got a different number. It even says Starbucks right there underneath the cockpit. I don't know if you can read that, there you go. Right there, it says Starbucks. Well, if you can see how, like, this is a small ship, right? It, I mean, it's, it's like about, you know, about the size of my thumb. But they managed to get that writing on there. That really, really tiny attention to detail is just super cool. Uh, we've got uh, some weathering effects on here, too. Since, you know, she's, like, the greatest pilot they've got. She flies an awful lot. I would just, for comparison's sake, here is the regular Viper. Uh, it's a little bit more of a rookie ship, right? A lot less uh, scoring, uh, around the engines, uh, a lot less battle damage on this one, and different numbers too, like different decals. Uh, this one is, you know, 202, uh, and that one's hardball. Um, and then, of course, she's going to be 7, so uh, 7242. There you go. So, yeah, very, very cool. I like, I love, I love the, the paint and the decals. Uh, the work that they've done to these ships are just absolutely stellar. Um, and this one really does kind of stand out and that it's not just the numbers that's different. It's also the paint as well. So that's that's really something special. All right. So to look at the cards, we've got our Viper Mark II card, which is to be expected. We also have a pilot card for Kara Thrace Starbuck. Now, uh, a lot of people, um, I, I, when I first did my Battlestar Galactica core set unboxing, I had a promo in there and that was for a Kara Thrace card uh, a Starbuck card as well that came, I think, with like early uh, convention access and like a lot of launch wave stuff. Uh, and some people were kind of upset. So I actually have that one here. Now, this is not what comes in the pack. This is uh, an old promo, but I know some people were complaining that they weren't going to get Starbuck. But of course, you can get her here. And so I thought I'd just compare these two because this is the Starbuck that comes in the Starbuck expansion. And she's actually better uh, than, than this one because this one has a flaw. Uh, and she, this is like lieutenant, and then this one's the captain. So she's got like way more talents. Uh, the, the, the picture's a little different, but it's like way more talents and uh, doesn't have the flaw. So uh, in case you felt bad about not getting the promo for Starbuck, uh, pick up the Starbuck expansion, you get a way better version uh, with way more talents available. So speaking of those talents, um, we've got Daredevil. We've got Exceptional Pilot. We've got Nimble Pilot, we've got 
quick reactions. We've got towing, focus, marksman, troubleshooter, inspiring, and religious. Uh, and of course we have our, um, our movement deck, which I think these are all the same for, at least for all of the Viper Mark IIs. I think they're all the same. I think it's only when you get into different ship types that they're going to have different decks of, uh, of flight cards, which, you know, kind of helps streamline things a little bit. And it also helps that they're all numbered up here in the top left-hand corner. So you can, you know, in case you maybe want to keep them organized or in case you kind of drop some and you want to make sure you have the right stuff. And of course, they're going to say which ship they are on the other side, and 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 that's just the thing too is it's the it's Colonial Viper Mark II. It doesn't say this is Carathrace's Viper, because you know the the ships uh, the ship you know the ship uh, cards are just the ship cards, and it doesn't matter who's flying it because you could potentially run this one without Carathrace. You might just run this one as an extra Viper if you wanted to do that. All right, everybody. Well, that is the uh, the Starbuck Viper Mark II expansion, and of course, I have all of the uh, the the, uh, the altitude pegs here assembled just to see show you kind of how how high you can actually fly them. Although I don't know if I really want to do that quite that high. I like it just uh, with the regular level, but uh, you know, and I haven't used altitude yet, so um, it'd be really weird to to kind of you know have them going so so high and so low. Because um, I'm just so used to games where every ship kind of stays the same height. All right, guys. Well, uh, big thanks to Aries Games. Also, big thanks to my patrons on Patreon. You guys are amazing, and you guys really help make this channel possible. If any of you out there do like the content and you're interested in supporting the channel, that is one great way to do it. Uh, another great way is through some of the links below in the description. There's uh, links to social media as well as merch and T-shirts and things like that. That also helps support the channel. Um, and uh, I just I really do appreciate everybody who uh, likes and subscribes and shares the videos and all of that good stuff because it definitely helps out a lot. All right, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching. And as always, have a great day.